Hey guys, today we will talk about another card that used to be the definition of bulk. Once again, if you have these cards in bulk and you buy list them for five cents or whatever, if it's 42 cents about four and a half years ago and you buy listed it, then it's not going to work for you, out that well for you if you buy listed for five to 10 cents. It would just be better to hold on to all your bulk and just hope it goes up in price because this card is now a four dollars and 61 cent card and it pretty much is if you sold a pile of a hundred of these and you just sold one of them you would have paid for the entire hundred in bulk so let's talk about wars toll free in a red enchantment from dissension it does not have a second reprint on it although it very well could it's one of those things that i could see in the edh or commander deck uh, whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, tap all lands that opponent controls. So this is very good against counterspell decks. And let me tell you why that's so important. Counterspell decks want to play some tempo, but then they also want to hold up mana. This is not going to allow them to do both. They can either choose to play something on their turn, or if they do, they're tapped out and cannot play counterspell magic. So it's very good. I've seen this, my friend runs not the Rafik deck, he runs another aggro deck, um, the Angel, anyway, whatever her Angel, uh, her name is, uh, I think, what is her name, she used to be, she was an original commander deck, uh, she's white and red, the Boros Angel was reprinted one time, but anyway, this card is very good in that deck, it creates this atmosphere where the game goes a lot faster, Typically in my play group, it is very, it's like, hmm, I want to bring my combo online and then I'm going to have counter spell magic. Uh, we play heavy counters in my play group. We have about four people. Sometimes we have up to six people. So the amount of planning that you need to pull off your combo. Uh, typically, we, the combos I've seen already, I can kind of stop and I can ask for help to stop the combo. But it's the new combos that are unique and rely on other, and can go past counter magic that win the game. This is very, very good against all of our decks because we want tempo. We need protection, right? We need to play stuff to protect ourselves from damage like uh, propaganda or ghostly prison, something like that. But if we do that, then we tap out and we can't counter spell stuff. So this kind of prevents us from doing so. Also, the attacking is for Rafik. Uh, that's kind of interesting because you can't pick and choose what attackers you're going to attack with. You have to go attack with everything. Now, the keyword here is opponent. Opponent. So that does not mean you. So whenever an opponent taps a land or when if a creature an opponent controls, so it's a one-sided effect. I never noticed it was one-sided. I misread it. I'm in dissensions, which was before EDH became popular. It wasn't like a good card. It was considered a very bad card, hence its bulk price. At 42 cents, what that actually means.